Hey guys, and welcome to today's show. Today's show is going to be two things. One, I'm going to announce the winner of the 50 millimeter 1.8 that I announced last week while I was at CES. Second part of this video is an introduction to my new series of videos on flash photography. So all of you have been struggling with how to shoot flash photography, this is going to be a great start for you guys. So now that I'm back bigger and stronger this year, well, not bigger, but stronger. Okay, just a little bit better, not so much stronger. Enough of all that, let's get down to business. All right, so who's the winner of this 50 millimeter 1.8 lens? Well, we just randomly picked somebody, so here it goes. Drum roll, please. I give up. Joseph James, you are the winner. So make sure you look out for that winning text as it'll give you instructions on how to obtain your lens. I just wanna thank everybody for participating. I got a great response from everybody. We are gonna be doing more giveaways and this time they will be worldwide. So congratulations again and I look forward to sending you this lens. So moving on to this introduction to flash photography. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of key points here with your camera. Now, your camera might have come with a flash. If it doesn't, that means you have one of the higher end uh, DSLR such as a 5D or the 1D. They don't come with pop-up flashes. The other ones do. My 7D does come with a pop-up flash and so do the T-series cameras and a few of your Nikon cameras. A couple of things I wanna share with you with those pop-up flashes. Those pop-up flashes are great in an emergency situation. Under no circumstance are you to really use those in a professional setting. Here's the number one reason why. Bam. Your light source is very small. It doesn't create a big light. The smaller your light source is, the more harsher that light is going to be on your subject. It causes very unflattering, uh, washed out look. So if you've ever taken a picture at night with this small flash mounted on top of your camera, you will see that the background is completely dark, uh, loss of any natural uh, ambient light, and your subject is probably overexposed or a little too bright. This is because your camera is thinking that it probably needs to use a flash. So what does it do? It pops up and throws some harsh light towards your subject. Now, I'm not a big fan of pop-up flashes, only because, again, the way the images come out. But there are a few things that you can do to soften up that light, such as buying a diffuser for your pop-up flash. Now, this won't do a huge amount of difference, but it'll soften it up a little bit too. It'll at least make it a little more pleasant and not so harsh. Now, obviously, I'm going to have a preference when shooting with flash. I'm going to be using external flashes. There are the high-end ones, which you have your 580EX, your SB900, or your lower-end flashes, which is the SB600 or the 430EX or EX2, which are a little less expensive than the 580EX and the SB900s. Now, quick comparison as to why pop-up flashes aren't good versus using external flashes. Here's one big problem. You ever see red eye in pictures? Well, this is what happens. This flash is mounted so close to this lens that it's sending a direct beam of light into your eyes and bouncing back. So this is something you definitely wanna avoid. The smaller the light source, the harsher the light is. Remember that. So what is the difference between using a pop-up flash and an external flash? Here's the difference. This source of light is much bigger as you can see. So the light can spread out a lot more. Now, again, you can use diffusers. A lot of your flashes come with these little flaps that come down, block the light and spread it out a little bit better. Now, the second thing that happens here is now your flash is mounted up higher than your lens. So what happens is now your light is spread out and it's pointing down versus straight into your subject eye. Now, as you can see in these images, there are a number of ways to configure your flash. You can use a flash to shoot straight onto a subject or by bouncing the light. Now, if some of you see my Christmas holiday video, you will see how I use light. I bounce the light from the ceiling onto the subject. Now, you can use a wall, you can use a ceiling, you can use a number of things to reflect that light. If you're in a room shooting and you wanna use the walls or the ceiling to bounce the light, consider the colors of the walls as your flash will pick up those colors. Now, why am I discouraging you to use your pop-up flashes? Because it's not really flash photography. For me, those pop-up flashes were more of just a gimmick to sell more cameras to the consumer who wanted to purchase DSLRs but also wanted the convenience of having a pop-up flash. Now, I'm not trying to insult anybody from using them, as like I said, there are those cases where you might need them, but a real strobus will not use a pop-up flash to accomplish any of their professional shots. So there you have it, folks. I'm gonna teach you guys how to be photographers slash strobus. I love using flash in a lot of my images to create very dramatic lighting, to get lighting that you would otherwise not get, and I wanna show you guys how to do just that. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you a quick introduction into flash photography, and I wanted to show you the difference between your pop-up flash and using an external flash. 
There are a few flashes you can buy for your camera. The question is, which one is the best one? So I would encourage you guys to check out the lower end ones such as the SB600 for Nikon and the 430EX for Canon, as buying the high-end ones is not really necessary at this point. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, favorite, and share this video. We've got a lot of stuff coming up and I can't wait to show you guys. Thanks for following me. Thanks for a wonderful 2011, and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care, guys. Peace. So make sure you look out for that winning text as it'll give you instructions on how I just want to thank everybody for participating and submitting your phone numbers. First one is Now having your flash mounted on top of your camera. 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 Camera.